welcome back to my channel and today um, I'm so sorry first of all for missing last last week because um, I had exams I had so many things got happening at the same time I tried my best to upload but I just couldn't uh, have time to edit so that's why I've got to shoot this video to come because I think everyone is now on exam month and everyone is preparing for their exams so I thought I could do a video about how you can motivate yourself to study effectively for exams by the way i've written a bit about this topic on my blog so i'm just going to make a quick short video to kind of put everything i've talked about on my blog into a minimum of short video so you can also watch this if you don't have time to read the um, the blog so today i'm talking about five good tips i use to motivate myself during examinations or me when i'm revising for my exams so um First of all, and also for those that are new to my channel, my name is Esther and my channel name is Esther B. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, subscribe to this channel. If you like this channel, give it a thumbs up as well. And um, switch on the bell button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's go quick into this. As you can see right there, my bag is all ready for me to go to the library and do my study for today. So that's my first tip. My first tip of how I motivate myself to study effectively for exams are uh, going to the library. Um, this is because it's also, it's good to be at home, but someone that I've got my bed right there, I'm out of comfort zone. I could easily just go to bed and have a sleep. I know it has to do with discipline, but sometimes we get really tired. It's bad for us to get tired and we can't motivate ourselves enough to, to study effectively. So uh, what we, the best thing is go to the library where you see a lot of people study and that's going to motivate you to study as well because you don't want to go to the library and be doing something else apart from studying. The second tip is set short-term goals. Set short-term goals that you can achieve, things that are achievable, things that are specific, such as, okay, I'm going to answer 50 past paper um, questions. Those are achievable. Don't set things that oh, that you can't even achieve in that day and you have to keep moving it, moving it, moving it forward. So make sure you set short term goals. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, another thing is find a quiet place. It is good to go to the library. I don't know how your library is, wherever you are. Mine in here in UK, we have a place where it is a very wide space and people can talk and have a conversation and things like that. That's very, very loud for me. I can't really study there. So for me to study effectively, I need that really, really quiet pin place where if a pin drops, I could hear the sound of that pin. So try and find a quiet place where your mind will be around your studying and it won't be roaming about or hearing what people are saying or what's around you. The next thing is have adequate food, snacks and something to get yourself hydrated. I can't stress this enough. When I'm going to the library, my meals are the most important thing. So I make sure I have my lunch, I have a few snacks, I have uh, my bottle of water and I have my cup for my coffee, tea or anything I feel like having at that moment. I also have some yogurts as well. I just and have a lot of sweets. So I just need those things. Like when I have those things, they do motivate me to study more and they get my mind um, really on track instead of me roaming, um, my mind bordering around about hung being hungry not eating and things like that and the last thing i do to motivate myself when i study is avoid distractions this is very very important we know we all know our phones are there and people want to communicate with us either um emergency wise or anything the best thing is when i'm going to the library i tell my family can no one call me until this certain time because i won't be able to pick it up because my, i put my phone on airplane mode so i won't even see any notifications or anything like that and if you have to use your phone for study, such as you want to use it to time yourself while you study, um, I am, there's this app um, called Promoter Technique. This app can actually de um, deactivate your other social media um, apps on your phone so they won't even function while you're using it. And there's another thing what people are using at the moment called the Forest app, that the amount of time you, you study, you build a tree and stuff like that. So those apps actually deactivate your other social apps so even though you're using it you can't have access to checking your phones and things like that so those are my quick five tips of how i can study effectively or how to motivate myself when i'm studying and for my exams or when i'm revising for anything so and that's it guys so i'll see you guys in my next video and something is actually coming up 
but i will let you know when it's when it's happening but something is definitely coming up and i'll let you know all right guys see you later bye bye